Mm, hello guys, it's Joel here. I put you on a tripod today so you can be, you can fully assess the situation because I have things to show you. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joel, aka Galax. I post videos here on YouTube about clothes that I like and I post nearly every single day over on Instagram and TikTok. My username is at Galax, so give me a follow, come and say hello. Um, yeah, I've not done a recent pickups for maybe since the end of last year. And I've got quite a few new things over the past few months. Um, some good things, some disappointing things. I actually need your help on a few things as well. Um, as always, everything will be linked in the description box of this video. So if you do like the look of anything, I've left a link so you can find it. Because I'm helpful like that. Um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. But let's get straight into the pickups. So the first port of call, obviously subtle plug but it is my own clothing brand arcana.co.uk i basically launched this last week and i am so 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 thankful to everyone who supported me and placed an order it's so wild to me to see orders from like malaysia thailand japan usa italy norway like france literally all over the world so thank you so much to everyone who has placed an order so far we literally have just a few t-shirts left in a few sizes. I think we're sold out of double XL, XS, medium. So there's not many left of the ones that are in stock. And this is the Orbit t-shirt. It has a rhinestone logo, which has this amazing sparkle when you take like a flash photo of it and stuff like this. And I'm just obsessed. I've literally been wearing this nonstop. Um, so yeah, I wear a size large. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on. So here is the Orbit t-shirt in a size large. As you can see, the logo is shining and giving. Um, yeah, it's a very relaxed oversized t-shirt. Uh, so do please check the sizing before you order. I feel like it's a really nice casual tee because I just wear it all the time, but it also can be transitioned to wear on like a night out with your friends because imagine like you're in a club or a bar or a restaurant and then your mates take a picture of you with the flash and it's all like sparkly um i just really really love it again me showing off the logo just because i'm obsessed um and bias obviously so the next piece is the orbit hoodie also from my clothing brand arcana um it has the logo and the brand name in a subtle embroidery, which you probably can't even see in this light, but it is there, I promise. Let's try and get it out. So it's a tone on tone. It's a tonal embroidery in the same colour because I did want to include the logo, but I didn't want like a big contrasting logo stuck right there. Um, what's important about this piece is the cut, the shape. Um, it has some dark details on the sleeves as well. Um, it, is, it is, without a doubt, the perfect essential hoodie. Um, it's a little bit oversized as well. It's just got a really nice shape to it and I've been obsessed with it ever since we created it. So we're gonna throw the Orbit hoodie in a large on top of the Orbit T. Like I was saying before, it's just like the fit of the pieces that's super super important to me how they lay on the body and what kind of silhouette they create um i remove it comes with a draw cord but i remove the draw cord because i don't like the strings hanging down but i wanted to include it in case you guys wanted to keep it on um but here you can see like the shape of the hoodie and how it fits uh i just really like it it is a essential for everyone's wardrobe. The, the hood sits nicely at the back as well. I just think that if you've been looking for like the perfect kind of washed vintagey um, essential piece that looks, you know, not brand new. I didn't want that brand new look. I wanted to look a bit worn in as well. And then this is like perfect for you for all year round. So yeah, this is a large, I'll leave a link in the description box below as well. Again, the Orbit hoodie is sold out in a couple of sizes, but we do have um, some left. And like with the t-shirt, please check the measurements on the site so you can see which one would be best for you. Um, and finally, the destroyed denim. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll just see me wearing these constantly 
for the past few months because they are literally, again, perfect. I pride myself on the, the cut and fit of all these pieces because that is what's so important to me, especially like the silhouette of how everything looks. Um, they are basically washed black, more kind of straight leg denim. Um, and they have distressed patches on the knees, which you can rip and make even bigger. Um, that's what I've done. So mine are completely blown out on both of the knees and it just gives a really, really nice effect when you look at the legs. So here are the destroyed denim from my own clothing brand, Arcana. Um, like I said, I absolutely love like the blown out knees. Um, and you can make them even more than this as well. Like I have space here that could be ripped to give even more of a distressed kind of blown out look. Um, and again, I love the way that the jeans themselves are shaped down the leg. You don't even have to distress them like this, like you could leave the distressing intact um, so they're not super messy like mine, but I absolutely love it. They also include a leather patch on the back with the logo in a silver metallic kind of debossing. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so happy with the destroyed denim. And like I said, with all of them, they are linked in the description box below. So again, thank you for all the support so far on Arcana. I'm so excited to show you what we have coming soon for drop two. So um, yeah, make sure you're following the Instagram. It's at arcana.co.uk so you can see little sneak peeks for the next and even have input on what we do in the future because you know, I wouldn't have this brand if it wasn't for you guys. So I definitely want to take your guys' opinion um, with me in my mind going forward with future designs because I just want to make clothes that I really want to wear and really really love and I hope that you guys do as well. Next up I did an order from ASOS and <laughs> some things are good some things are bad um yeah so I basically had this in my saved items for a while and it looked like the Balenciaga padded denim jacket Kanye West was wearing like last year and I was like, if this is good, this would be a really, really good dupe. Like, this would be amazing if it was good. But I just don't think it's good. I don't really love light blue denim and I don't really wear it. But I was considering, <laughs> I was considering it um, if the jacket was like a good shape and fit. The actual texture of the jacket is really cool. It is very like padded. Um, and I think from far away, this detailing does look good, but it's more of a print rather than like a washed bit of denim. So I'm gonna put the picture of what it looked like online so you can see. Um, but yeah, so this is an XL. And... I don't know, I feel like the shape of it is just not really right. Like for an XL, I would assume that the sleeves were super, super long, but they're not really. I just don't think it's giving what it's supposed to get. It's not too expensive, it's 65 pounds, which is a good deal. I mean, if you like the look of it, um, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of torn on sending it back because it's just not what I thought it was gonna be. But maybe I'm overreacting and it actually looks fairly decent, but I don't know. I think maybe if it was in black, I would love it a lot more. Maybe it's the color. Next up from ASOS, I do really love um, tight fitted long sleeve tees. Um, so I picked up this one, which again is like denim patch, but I, I don't know what's going on with me. I just thought I'd try it just to see what it's like. Um, this is 24 pounds and I got it in a medium. So this is, I'm literally trying it on for the first time with you guys now. So I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this and whether I should keep it or not. It is very sheer, um, but because the print is all over it, I feel like it won't be too revealing once it's on body. So you're seeing this for the first time, as well as me. I should probably be wearing jeans with it, not sweatpants. I actually don't hate it. When I saw it in the packet, I was like, mm, I'm not really sure how I feel about the denim kind of patch print. Uh, it's kind of cool. I like the bits of red in it as well. Um, so this is a medium and this feels quite good. I probably could have got away with a small just because these tops are so stretchy and actually the smaller they are, the more flattering they are because they kind of like cling to you. Um, 
And like I said, because the print is so like uh, busy, it just like covers everything underneath. So you can't actually really see like my nipples or anything, I don't think. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of this. And I've left a link in the description box to this as well. I just thought it was a nice kind of like layering piece. Finally from ASOS, a fellow YouTuber, uh, TBH Byron, posted these on Instagram and I literally commented being like, they're so nice. And he was like, oh, I actually, they made me think of you. Like they made him think of me. And I was like, no way. So I was like, actually, I'm gonna order them and see what they're like, because these could be great for summer. They are a Bershka cowboy boot, like a Cuban heel cowboy boot. Um, let me show you. So these are 79.99, um, which is kind of expensive for Bershka. And I think these are what I'm most excited about in today's unboxing. Oh wow. They do look really nice straight out of the box. They're kind of giving. I'm imagining like my green padded Balenciaga shirt, which I got on Grail, which I haven't shown you before either. So this is a recent pickup too. <laughs> I got some Grailed. I got it for myself for Christmas to wear in Tokyo because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. If you've seen my Tokyo vlogs from January, February, then you would have seen it. It is from Balenciaga 2018. It is a padded oversized shirt. It is beautiful. So there's that. But I can't link this because there's only one on Grail that's come out because I took it, sorry. <laughs> so here, I was imagining this with like black sh denim shorts or like black cut off shorts. Oh. Maybe even a cowboy hat, I'm not sure, with these western boots. Um, these look really nice. I'm impressed so far. So let's try them on and see what they look like. Again, I've linked these in the description box below. I'm a 42 and I usually wear a 42, a UK 8. Oh, they fit perfectly. Oh yeah, looks at the back. Okay, these don't look right with jeans tucked into them, but this is what they're looking like. Um, I'm gonna try them with shorts so you can like properly see. Um, but with jeans over, they look really nice. Like the actual shape of the sole is really cool. It's very defined. It's very like cut out. Um, and then, yeah, they're super comfy inside. It's very spongy. Okay, I've got shorts on now. If anyone's going to Coachella this year, then these would be perfect. Oh, they're really cool. I really, really love the shape. I think these are a steal from Bershka as well, actually, because actual cowboy boots can be very expensive. Next up is a piece from my favorite Korean clothing store, AS Klo. If you are like me and you're like six foot, it's a really good place to find oversized clothing. Like I have figured with ASOS, like it's not actually as oversized on me as I want it to be. So you can shop there if you're not as tall as me, but things just might swallow you a bit. So this is an oversized biker jacket and it's very like relaxed compared. I have one from, from AS Klo that I've worn for years but it's very rigid, it's giving like Acne Studios like uh, clean minimal vibe but I wanted something a bit more like uh, relaxed and looking like it's more worn if you know what I mean so this one is giving that um, and it's a bit longer in length as well so it like covers more of your body and like the top of the legs as well um, I just really really like it, it is faux leather so it smells like fish, which is not cute, <laughs> but I'm sure that will wear off after a while, right? <laughs> so here we have the biker jacket from AS Klo, and like I said, this is definitely a more relaxed kind of fit in terms of biker jackets. It is definitely more slouchy. I think it looks really good with like a hoodie under it and like ripped denim and stuff as well. It's definitely giving that kind of vibe, but I did just want a really oversized bike jacket to like throw on. And because it is a faux leather, it is quite soft, so it's actually quite comfortable rather than a new kind of leather jacket that is more rigid. I do really like the shape of it. I do wish it had its own pads in the shoulders to make it more of like a strong shouldered biker. But other than that, I think it's kind of perfect. I think they include measurements on each product page as well as to like how 
long or wide the pieces and stuff so now this is very random because it's not clothes but it's from Givenchy and it is fragrance I went to the uh, fragrance launch for Givenchy the other night here in London and they gave me a little goodie bag on the way out which I assume is the fragrance it's called Gentleman Society it doesn't say what it's made of like what the notes are and I'm really bad at describing things but let's open it the bottle is really cool, we've obviously got like the G, the 4G I think it's called by Matthew Williams. This little symbol that's on all like the bags and the shoes and stuff which is really cool. Oh, It's really nice, it's, you can definitely tell it's more of like a masculine scent but it does have like a soft element to it as well i cannot for the life of me remember what ingredients are in it but it's it's delicious honestly i'm a really good fragrance reviewer and i'm like it's delicious you should try it but definitely check it out because it is really really nice yes so i have one more thing to show you and i actually already wore it in my last vlog for the for paris fashion week when i went to the balenciaga show but i didn't really explain it too much um it is, well it starts as a fanny pack, um, just a plain black fanny pack, but then you unzip it. And inside the fanny pack itself, a trench coat! <laughs> it is the packable trench coat from Balenciaga Winter 22. Um, I've been obsessed with this for a long time. Um, it's made of a taffeta and yeah, it's basically like a super long floor length kind of trench coat which then folds into itself and becomes a fanny pack so you can take it around with you. It's such a cool idea. The cut on the silhouette of the actual trench coat itself are amazing. I've been looking for something like this for a really long time. And basically the only reason I got it is because I found it for 60% off from this Italian website called like G Giglio, Gigilo.com or something. Uh, again, I'll link it in the description box below. Because um, this registered retail price was like £2,750. But I got it for like 1000 and something. Um, for six, yeah, for 60% off. So I was absolutely gagged. And I thought it was perfect with my thigh-high wader boots um, from the same show. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this. And it's kind of, it's like a a statement piece but also like a wardrobe essential like trench coats always come in and out of style and i feel like this is a great addition to anyone's wardrobe the struggles yeah so i'm absolutely obsessed with this and think it's like the perfect addition it's also not very it's very lightweight so obviously perfect for the rain um and perfect for traveling um and it just goes over the top of everything, so... This is a size 2, by the way. I did want a size 3, but I couldn't find a size 3 on sale anywhere, so... 2 it was. But yeah, it's really cool. And I think that is it for recent pickups for everything at the moment. Uh, yeah, if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know whether I should send that padded denim jacket back from ASOS, because I just feel like it's not what I thought it was. Um, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you in my next video.